Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. I thought seeing as we were in town, uh, clearing up some bits and bobs before we head back out, uh, we'd take the opportunity to have a look at the wardrobe and uh, and go through some of the, the potential like designs of stuff. And I, I'm really going to just lean into the bear aspect. Uh, so all the stuff we're wearing, I've just switched it over so it is the fur lined uh, appearance for everything we have. Later on, I'm sure I'm gonna come back and, and, and change some uh, some look and feels. Uh, but the fur lined with brown, it feels maximum bare, maximum druid. I, I am very happy with it. I did, I did think about like going for the golden bear, which is cool, it's cool and all, um, but it is not as cool as this. Uh, so that that's what we're doing right now. We are cosplaying as a bear while we are transmuting into a bear. We are still going to be going around the fractured peaks. Let's zoom things back out just to remind what we've got going on. So last time, uh, I mean we've we've got so many potential things uh, like dungeons that we can hop down into. Last time we were finishing up around here in Malnock. We just uh, just got that place unlocked. There's no waypoint there, so we're not going to be able to get back there quickly. Um, but we did want to investigate here, over here, and also like the combination of like these two little sections. And, and this bit over here, and there's stuff over there. There's so many places we need to go in the Fracture Peaks before we move on. I think we'll come straight out uh, we'll head and catch this, and then we'll immediately go down here. We won't do the gory display, uh, as much as it is a cool side quest. Uh, we'll save that for another time. So, heading out of town, going east. That is our current plan. We are level 31. Uh, we are working on getting enough renown in... The Fracture Peaks, so we get one more skill point. And then we'll probably carry on with Act 2 of the main campaign. A little rubber banding as we left the area there. Not brilliant, but uh, not much we can do about it. Let's head down sort of south-ish, and we'll ignore these guys, because they're, they're not working towards anything we're trying to do. I'm not ready yet. Alright, you don't need to be ready for me to just charge on through. Give me those iron chunks, thank you. Actually, seeing as we have a large group together, let's just get them eliminated. Apparently, we won't get a mount until we've gone through and done the campaign as a whole, so I. I'm less worried about the amount of time we spend actually travelling around. Also, this sounds a little bit louder than it did previously. I wonder if it's reset my sound settings. It'd be annoying if it has. Let's let's check quickly. Hmm. Looks about right. Maybe my ears are just more sensitive. We've got a storm uh, storm on the way here in the UK. And my nose is cleared up, which is great. Because I haven't been able to breathe for absolutely ages. Um, but I've got that kind of like really full feeling in my head. And maybe that's exacerbating it. Okay, what's this? Greet. Let's say hello. Hello. Didn't see a benefit. I did not see a benefit. All right, let's uh, push on past quickly. You are hidden from enemies. Oh, okay. Didn't see a benefit because I'm invisible. Well, we can start with Start with a bear charge if there's anything in these guys will do. I don't want to just waste it. I need your spirit. 
I do like that immune bubble. I, I am quite happy that we have it. It's probably the only reason we survived the butcher actually, giving us giving us a little bit of time while working through things. We've got a lot of other survivability, but I was uh, I was talking with my brother. He ran into the butcher and beat her, um, and yeah, the butcher is definitely deadly. Proper threat. We're going to clear the cellar on the way. Because it's right here. We've got a snowy revenant. Fine, I will be a bear then. I too can barrel on through. Oh yeah! Our pulverize does the, um... Does a shockwave now. I completely forgot we had that as a thing. It is very cool. Uh, claiming these places out along the way, it's extra experience. It's not extra renown or anything, but there's always the chance of finding cool items. And for, for me, that's what Diablo's about. The story's great. You know, it's it's lovely to have the story and uh, and be moving through it and seeing where it goes. But really, it is about the looting aspect, building up that uh, combination of items so that your build is more powerful or more interesting than what you did previously. Man, I love. I love this pulverize. I love this pulverize. It's great. I just wish it didn't take any spirit. Shockwave was always one of my uh, favorite skills. Like in the uh, Diablo three, when you were like wearing the weight of the earth and uh, and things like that, and you were jumping around all the loop, all over the place doing uh, earthquake and shockwave. And avalanche, and avalanche. It thematically, it felt awesome. So having having a little bit of that. Yeah, you can't run away from me, mate. Oh, we have another cellar to the south. Let's do this, seeing as it's kind of en route. Killing these guys on the outside probably makes good sense. Oh, geez, we're level 30. We could upgrade our potion. Okay, well, we'll we'll hop down and do the cellar, and then we'll head back to town quickly and buy that upgrade. Gruesome storage. This is kind of gruesome. Hello, everyone. Make them do less damage. Oh, ran out of spirit at just the wrong time. I think they've done a really good job of um, planning the amount of spirit that the uh, druid's item, uh, like various spells and things, need. Because I always feel like I'm like one. One cast of things too shy. One cast short to do what I want. Uh, which I think is the perfect place to be. Uh, especially while you're leveling up. If you're able to just like hammer through stuff and you don't know whether you would have run out of spirit. Everything feels like, yeah, it's manageable. We can just alpha strike it, uh, whatever. But if you are one short, then you have to think about your encounters. Even if it's just... Oh, I only need to hit them another couple of times. It's 
it completely changes the dynamic and the way you interact with the game. Like, it changes it from a non-thinker to, I need to pay attention. So this bit, hey, there is an altar of Lilith. Maximum capacity of murmuring obols. Ooh. So we can now hold 505, I believe. Let's drink a healing potion. Uh, we have a little bit to the north, which is why we're actually in this entire section. It's a cut through. It is a cut through, which is not massively interesting. So we'll ignore it and we'll head over to this section over here. That was the main plan for this. Although we'll have a little look up into this section just in case there's anything over here. It doesn't look like it though. Okay. Oh, we only need five more renown. So actually revealing this new section will give us what we need. You know what, you guys can explode all you want. I don't need to be there when you do. Right, let's, let's stand a little bit out to the, the side. Uh, the only thing that I, I generally disagree with about the way they've uh, implemented this game is the scaling in open world areas. Because early on in the game, as a level like five or six, well, actually, you know, probably, uh, probably eight when uh, when I actually hit town. I was encountering other people out in the world, and they were fighting stuff, and I was fighting stuff, and I was able to contribute to the fights, and I was doing very little damage compared with what they would have been doing, and that tells me that the scaling's not real. The mob health damage combination is not real. It's just about relative differences. So. If I, if I have a look at this, while it says 478 to 716 damage per hit, really that could probably be represented as a percentage of average mob health, and that's really what the game is working on behind the scenes. Uh, it's, it's the only complaint I have by interacting with other people um, and having the, uh, the level range that we could interact with them being so vast it dispels the illusion that you're getting pow uh, more powerful over time. Now, that might be me misunderstanding the way it's actually working. Um, it could be that there's actually uh, a way of getting into worlds with people who are much lower level. Um, and that's what happened with those, uh, those people that I encountered. But I suspect I'm probably right on that. Definitely going to disrupt the chunglers. That was a big hit. So what have we got? We've got to destroy the ghost construct. Oh. We've got to destroy it before the ritual completes. Okay. Well, we're going to want to drink as we go along. I do not have enough spirit. Okay, let's try and focus on these mobs as much as possible. I think we're doing okay. Did you not die? That is so rude. There it goes. Let's just kill Teffen Gravemaker. Funnily enough, he did actually make a grave. 
Let's knock him back into his own wall. Wall up. Level 32. Ooh, boots. We're finding a reasonable number of unique and legendary items. Damage from Earth skills slow enemies by 25%. Um, I'm not going to say no. Not going to say no. We lose one of eight charge, but overall we end up much better. So this is a no-brainer to put on. Let's carry on into this new area. No, I was going back to town. I was going to upgrade our potion. God damn it. Right. Let's try this again. Back to town. We'll put our skill point in and we'll upgrade our potion. So first things first, alchemist, so I don't forget. That seemed to work well. Can we craft death resistance? No. Two more crushed beast bones. We must have. We must have just used one at the light healing level because we had three before one more point and we'll be able to do key passives so let's lean into heightened senses so that's the extra damage reduction against elites given how much trouble we ran into with the butcher i think that is a smart lean Uh, let's have a look at our stuff. These are good, but I love the barrier. The barrier, we're going to want to move across to something better at some point. But for now, it can stay as it is. 5% uh, werebear skill damage. That's interesting. But it's not spectacular. When we go for the upgrade, we're going to go for a big upgrade. Ooh, seven life on kill. You know what? I'm going to make that trade. So these are all, all done and we're happy for them to go. So. Swapping out the gloves would be fine. Swapping out the chest would also be fine. Swapping out the helm would be fine, but less useful. So I think, let's say gloves. Let's say gloves, see if we come up with anything. We can do a couple of these. Hmm, uh, it seems your prayers have been answered. Okay. Up to an 80% chance when dealing lightning damage to overload the target for 3 seconds, causing direct damage you deal to them to pulse additional damage to surrounding enemies. That's lovely. But we're not doing lightning damage. That's the only downside of this. I like it, but we're not going to wear it. This could be cool. Switch across to ranks of pulverize instead of landslide. It does give us extra strength as well. Alright, we'll we'll swap that in. So you're gonna go, you're gonna go, and we're gonna extract this. We're not salvaging it though, we're extracting the aspect from it, so we're gonna not get the uh the different look and feel, I don't think. You can take what's left. Now, if we were to extract this, what kind of stuff might we get out of it? Uh, sorry, not extract it. If we were to salvage it. 
Later on, we're going to have, like, so many different aspects that we don't care about a lot of them. But there is, there is definitely potential to be had there. Also, can we put aspects in our chest and transfer them to other characters? This is the wrong place. The wrong place for where we want to be. No, extract, don't imprint. That can go in weapons as well. So that could be up to a 36% chance to deal light, uh, when dealing lightning damage to overload the target for three seconds. That's huge. Especially if we've got stuff that's plus to lucky hit. A lightning druid could be incredible with something like this. Until spring. Right, what is new? We could do some upgrades on our weapon. We could do some upgrades on our armor as well, hypothetically. I've many fine pieces, rare and beautiful. Can't add any sockets to anything that is uh, at least not nothing that we care about there. Let's drop our gems off. Is that a kitty? Oh! Not while I'm in town. Should be able to shape change into a kitty. I like that they have cats in the towns. The fact that they have cats in the towns makes me immensely happy. Let's get a little bit of healing and then we'll head back on out. Little bit of money that we left just lying on the ground. Thankfully, no one's come along and stolen it. Let's push into the next area. As soon as we get the area reveal, we can claim the extra skill point. The Crucible. That sounds a bit ominous. Let's get the money and the skill point. Choices. Ursine strength is the obvious choice in this. So while over 80% health, we will deal 30% increased damage. And we're going to gain 20% health when we change into Werber form. So 684 up to... 811. That ups our maximum fortify as well, which is huge. What's this? Wandering Death, a world boss. Uh, we are not a high enough level for this. Begins in 20 minutes. Mmm. Mm. Do we do a do we try and do a world boss with whoever else happens to be around? Like I, I appreciate the idea of it's level thirty five plus, which to me implies that it's it's going to be tricky. No, I mean, so. That, that seems like an obvious statement to make that it's going to be tricky, but it seems like it might be out of our reach. But at the same time, World Boss has got to have something cool, right? It would mean waiting this out, and I don't know if I'm willing to do that right now. Let's carry on. And we'll continue exploring Sanctuary. So we're going to come up here and we're going to head to Gory Display. But we'll probably come back to do this world boss at some point. And I do wonder whether... 
it's always like a couple of levels above you or whether it's always like level 35 and you can over level it. What is that over here? Idol of the Shaman, jeez, that does not look good. That was a big pulverize. Okay, we might be frozen, but it's fine. Are you about done? I think he's about done. That, I, like, going into that felt more dangerous than it actually ended up being. I was a little bit worried we'd stumbled into a special event or something. The Altar of Redemption. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, we know where this is. Let's, uh, let's push on up. Oh, there's an ancient obelisk here. This is not an event. Apparently, this is an event. Stand on the pressure plates to sate them. So, this one's nearly done. Okay, one done. Okay, two done. We've got time to do all of these. Let's use Rage Pulverize to do what we can. Is that enough? It is. That event didn't even show up on the map. Oh! So there's, there's hypothetically hidden events. What's this ring? The Dire Wolf's Band. Grizzly Rage now shape shifts you into a Dire Wolf. As a Dire Werewolf, you gain 25% movement speed instead of damage reduction and spirit cost reduction. Kills heal you for 10% of your maximum life. That is so weird. Losing the damage reduction is... I don't know if I like this. I might swap this over for the Loop of the Umbral. Extra physical damage. Mm. I mean, overall it feels like a better... Th Better break. Let's try it. So, yeah, we end up with a werewolf. No, I do not like this. We are a bear. Bear, not wolf. Bear. I love that there is items that do weird things that really change skills like that, but that is not what we're about. We are not about the wolf, we are about the bear. I'm not ready yet. Grab each of those. We are heading in the right direction. I'm not ready. 
I should really barrel through most of these and not stop and fight them, but... Oh, more uniques. Let's have a look at this. What is this? Rapid ritual stuff. Basic skills gain 58% attack speed. That's that is pretty fast. If you've got a build that's really leaning into your basic skills. Hey, look at that! Ultra Lilith hiding away. Sorry, Bear. Just don't have time to be dealing with you. I must wait a minute. Ignoring, ignoring, moving on, actually sticking to the plot. At least trying to. So actually, this is a really good point for us to have a look at this. So our renown is counting up. So even though we can't necessarily claim the benefit of the renown until we're at a higher world here, it's still worth us doing stuff in the area. So I do like that. What's this place? Oh, there's another waypoint here. Bear Tribe Refuge. Uh, I found this at the site of an ambush. <laughs> These beasts! This was Namran's chain. Thank you for returning it. My pleasure. We're not going to do the side quests. But I will grab all of that. Yeah, this is this is cool. I would like to put this on something else. 58% attack speed. That is in a two-handed weapon. So it's probably 24%. It could be randomized up to like 25% by default at a guess. Uh, let's go through salvage, salvage, salvage. We're not going to salvage up the remaining bits. Pungent odor arises from the pot. Some kind of fermented meat. Mmm. That, that seems delicious. Let's have a look up. See if there's anything tucked away at the top. Okay, maybe if we were to ask to meet the chieftain, we'd be able to do that. So that's going to be if we lean into the side quests. How about the other paths? Rave of a fallen warrior of the bear tribe. Their weapons and armor displayed proudly seem testament to their honor. I'm assuming the same is on the other one. And the final path actually leads on somewhere else. So we've pretty much explored all this area down here. There's a couple of small bits we haven't done in the frigid expanse. So we might want to do that. Yeah. I think let's uh let's swing round we'll do this path here and then we'll maybe head up through this this section absolutely nothing in the tree very disappointing I think one of the uh, the best things about um, the Diablo games, it it's definitely like the magical affixes. 
Um, but it's it's realizing that there's so many different items that have been planned to allow you to build in so many different ways. Things like um, the changing Grizzly Rage so it shapes if you into a wolf. It's not something you'd ever consider. Like, why would you take Grizzly Rage rather than the wolf one if you wanted to be a wolf? But that could actually make it worthwhile for you. A bear with wolf skills, almost. Ah, uh, this is the right way. We are not going to go into there just yet. That is the necromancer place. Not that we sh couldn't go in and get benefit, but uh, we're not going to be able to use the aspect, so there's no point. There's a little event up here. Let's let's head for that so we can get some obols. Jar of Souls. There's lots of Jar of Souls events. I think the Jar of Souls event is probably overplayed slightly. I do not have enough spirit. Grab most of these. I'm not ready yet. There we go. That's enough. And there he goes. Let's thank this person. Thanks. Just so you know, we're we're at least playing the part. <laughs> but I do think we're just gonna push on. Our maximum life being higher is so cool. Right, that rounds out this entire section, actually. So let's head to the south and see if there's anything tucked away here. We've got a cellar. Lovely, chonky overpower. You love to see it. Oh, we're going to need... We're going to need a key. Okay, having found a silent chest, locked. we're actually going to go back and buy the key now. I should have picked one up ahead of time. Hopefully we'll get something a little bit better this time than the last time. So, down to the purveyor of curiosities. I must wait a moment. Thank the light you're here. Nope. Still not here to help with your son. I think he's possessed. Don't care about your boy, Petter. One whispering key. While we're here, we can get some gloves. Ah, they're slightly better. It's all a bit relative, but... Until next time. Oh, I just realised. It's keeping my look, my look for my character, even though I'm swapping stuff out. It's not locked per item, it's locked for your character. That feels a bit smoother, a little bit better, not gonna lie. I think that was a smart choice for them to make. Not convinced that was worth it. I mean, I'm glad I have it, but not convinced it was worth it.
Okay, one more seller. through he's almost gone there we go another seller done grab each of these bits and head back out I'm just gonna finish exploring this uh, this little section of the map just to make sure there's no altars uh, immediately round here so that's just uh, just round here this corner Oh, there's something here. What is going on? Maybe it's not something we can do anything with yet. That might be something that happens later. I'm certainly a little bit curious, though. So. Okay, uh, well... Uh, we're we're running a little bit low on time, so I think we might have to pick this up next time. I think next time we'll we'll start at the Bear Tribe Refuge and we'll come across and we'll do this little section here, or we'll try and go up up to this little corner bit. That seems that seems like a reasonable plan. Let's just get you killed. Oh my god, there's so so many more of them. Are you about done? I think they are done. Right. Let's head back to town. We'll extract the uh, the various bits and bobs that we have. Store the aspects for later, kind of thing. We're going to have to start stocking up on money if we keep finding these right, items. Right. right, extract basic skills, gaining 58% attack speed. This can go in loads of stuff. This can go in gloves, so we could put it in our gloves, actually. Twenty-nine percent attack speed is not bad for a basic skill. It would only affect Maul, but what would it cost us? It wouldn't cost much. We'll keep the amulet. We'll keep the pulverized shockwave. Loop of the Umbral is kind of vital. So yeah, putting this on gloves seems like the right move at the moment. A bit of extra attack speed. It's definitely welcome. Alright, extract this. We're not going to use this. We're just extracting it. I, I, conceptually, I really like it. I, I really like it. The 50% spirit cost reduction is actually pretty huge as well. If we were doing wolf skills, but we're not doing wolf skills. So that has knocked a huge amount out of our money. Maybe we should just sell all this stuff rather than salvaging it up. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Hypothetically, the extra lucky hit chance. I really like it if we had lucky hit stuff going on, but we don't. Anything else? Sell it all. That's given us about 40k, uh, which is nice. Very nice. Uh, and we're going to have to finish up there, I think. Uh, we've done a little bit more exploring. Uh, we've finished our next Renown uh, reward for the Fractured Peaks. 
So the only bits we've got left is uh, is just about uh, rounding out those bits of the maps. Um, we could do more strongholds, of course, and, uh, and more side quests, but we might want to think about pushing on with the plot. Let's just upgrade these amethysts. Uh, so, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this. As always, if you are, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.